You may have been asked or advised to register with the Patient Access Portal recently. This is a website to help you interact with NHS services online. Today we're going to show you how to register with the Patient Access Portal. Although you don't have to be registered with a GP to use the portal, there will be many things within it you won't be able to do unless you are registered. If you don't know where your nearest GP practices are, you can find them on nhs.uk. Or by calling Healthwatch Manchester on 0161 228 1344. We will describe how to register whether you have a GP or not. You will need an email account in order to register with patient access. If you have a GP, it will help to contact them first and say that you are registering with patient access and would like a registration letter. Alternatively, you can ask them for a linkage key and account ID. This is the information contained in the letter. You can request this in person or by phoning the practice receptionist. They will have to give you your linkage key and account ID in writing, either by email or as a letter. When you are ready to register, open patientaccess.com and click the register button. A form will ask you for your name, postcode, date of birth and gender. The gender question is optional. Once you've entered this information, click the continue button. The next form will ask you to enter your email address, to create a password and has an optional field for your mobile phone number. The password must be at least 12 characters long with a mix of numbers, uppercase and lowercase letters, and at least one symbol. You can read the patient access terms and conditions by clicking the pink terms and conditions text, and you will need to tick the box to say that you agree to them. You can subscribe to marketing emails from patient access by ticking the next box, but you don't have to. Click the create account button to proceed. The system will send you an email, so you'll have to go to your emails and click on the Verify Your Email Address button. This will verify your contact details and activate your account. You can then sign in to Patient Access. At this point you will be asked to link your GP practice to your Patient Access account. If you don't have a GP practice, click the Skip For Now button. This will take you to the welcome page for your Patient Access account. You'll be able to see your dashboard, which features health advice and information about local services. You will not have access to the full range of functions, such as medical records, appointments and repeat prescriptions. If you do have a GP and have received a registration letter or email, then click link your GP practice. Search for your GP practice by name or postcode. And select yes when it asks, have you received a registration letter from your practice? Enter the linkage key and account ID you were given by your GP practice, then click confirm. You will be asked to confirm your personal details and enter the password you created for your account. Then you can click the link account button. You may have to sign back in using your email address and new password. Then you will be taken to your dashboard where you can find information about local services and health advice. As you have linked your account to your GP practice, you will also have options to book appointments, request repeat prescriptions, access self-referral services, and nominate your local pharmacy as a default for collecting medication. If you have difficulty at any point in the registration process, you will find a technical support button on your screen. This will allow you to send a message to patient access to ask for help. Your GP may also be able to help you with the registration process. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with your registration on the Patient Access Portal.